Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to yet another stream. Uh, starting a little bit, you know, just, just assume I'm always going to be later than I fucking intended, and you'll probably be on track. Anyway, hi, I hope you're all doing well. We're going back to some, some dragon's traps, some scrumptious dragon's traps today. With a pretty sick fucking game that I think, honestly, is underrated, because I think very few people have uh, played much Master System, but this is something that I, I strongly recommend you cook up that emulator and try out for yourself. Although they actually did do a remake on Steam recently, so maybe yeah, I'll try that at some point. And if you want something more new, something less antiquated, go for that. I guess it's available on a uh, Switch as well. Shit, we gotta turn on sound, don't we? Um, yeah, much like a cooking show, I did all of this shit before getting started, so we can just seamlessly jump right into game. Uh, I am playing from the Raspberry Pi, as I always am. Last time we started our quest, we got cursed by a dragon. Got turned into a dragon. Or maybe a lizard man, I don't fucking know. And now we are a midget. We are, uh, I guess, Destiny, Ben Shapiro, Tom Cruise. I don't know, I guess we can really just insert any, any short guy reference right here. But let's uh, figure out what we're doing. Easier said than done, huh? Oh shit, I um I did actually look up and read the instruction manual. So, to my knowledge, we do crazy shit by like down and jump. Yeah, like down and jump. Which not exactly, you know, logical if you ask me, but there you are. So down and jump does any of this shit here. And then, I learned what it is. So we are not uh, playing as John Podesta searching for cheese pizza. CP is actually charisma points. Which changes what's available in the shop. So when you go into the shop and there's some shit that's question mark, it's not necessarily that you won't unlock it as you play, but that's tied directly to your uh, cheese pizza points. DP is defense, AP is attack. So, when we got the goblin mail last time, so like, got this, right? 68, 48, 77, 57, big, uh, big increase right there. This lowers our cheese pizza, but it increases our defense. So, it, <laughs> yeah, shockingly, shockingly complex for a game like this. So we would want our goblin mail when we're exploring and dicking around, because it's better for combat, but when we're in town, we better remember to switch to the mithril armor. Crazy, right? Holy shit. That, uh, that took me a little bit to figure it Well, actually, I would not have figured it out if I hadn't looked at the manual. Um, so what are we doing? We are climbing walls. And it's specifically these blocks here, the uh, checkerboard blocks. The ones with the... I don't fucking know, what is this? What am I looking at here? The wings? Is it two cross swords? Is it a bird? Who knows? But we can't we can't climb on that. So apparently there's like a mouse man. So I mean I can't really see it, but apparently those are supposed to be like Mickey Mouse ears. Uh you know, the the Japanese have never been ones to not steal shit. I mean you've you've seen in other games, they always you put like Freddy and Jason in all their games. The Terminator. Spider-Man, that kind of shit. Yeah, Nintendo wants to, uh, bitch about emulation. Ah, speaking of which, um, I have something to talk about that. Ah, so, for example, here, our charisma is shit. But, we might be able to see something if we switch our armor. <laughs> no, okay, okay, but, you know, in general, that is what we would want to do, though. And the stones we collect... So if we had no stones, our charisma points, our cheese pizza, would be at 52. So each stone increases that by one permanently. So your cheese pizza does go up gradually. But you can, you know, increase it a lot just through armor as well. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's a little complex, but it's a pretty fucking solid game. Once again, it reminds me. Oh, fucking hell! What, what? Oh, okay. All right, Dick. Um. Well, wait a minute. There's a way we can do this. But how? Tornado? Shit. 
shit. Shit! I, I, I wanna, I wanna fuck this thing up. Maybe I can't fuck it up, though. I'm just getting my asshole kicked for no fucking reason. Stop it! Ah! Alright, this thing's a rat bastard. Anyway, um, like I was saying, though, last time it reminds me of what... I think maybe these are, like, Sonic Springs or some shit. I'm not sure if they're doing any damage to me. I brought up Zelda 2 a lot last time because it reminds me... This game reminds me of... If Zelda 2 did not suck dick. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Oh god. Dude, there's like... Alright, alright. How to explain what's going on in case you... Are watching and think I'm just full pants on head retarded. There's a lot of momentum. It's very icy physics in general, which you do have to get used to. So this is where we want to be. Okay. Luckily we have that potion. That potion that we did. Oh, uh, all right, Dick. I thought he was just going from side to side. Okay. And we have that. Oh God. What the fuck? Weird. Why can't I go to the left? So since last time I've been playing, I did pick up, um, actually I didn't necessarily pick it up, I, I had bought it early, early, early in the year because I assumed Nintendo would uh, starve us like they did initially with those Mario anniversary game and watches, but they did not this time. Oh, look at that, magical. And they actually shipped a whole bunch of these Zelda game and watches, right? Which is cool, you know, I, I do appreciate that. We are using all of those, huh? It's kind of awkward to move like this. But, um, the Zelda Game & Watch, very interesting thing. I actually recommend, if you have nostalgia for those games, not necessarily if you're a Zelda fan, but if you have nostalgia for the NES and or Game Boy Zeldas, right? I do think it'd be a very cool thing to pick up. The screen is small, right? Oh, look at that. How did I fucking know? How did I fucking know? The screen is very small, but the pixels per inch is actually really high, so all around the resolution looks really good on that tiny screen. I have noticed a little bit of shimmering. Tiny, teeny, tiny bit of shimmering. Um, which I feel like you probably wouldn't notice unless you emulated a lot like me and you kind of are already on the lookout for that kind of shit but that's that's about it everything else is fine it, it looks great it plays great the rubber buttons work better than you would think all right i think i think we just go up here yeah oh god and the clock function is actually really cool the um package you buy it with kind of folds out Oh, fuck! We got ourselves a spooky boy. The uh, package itself folds out, and you can make yourself a nice little stand with it, which I did. So you can work as a clock. I have a few issues with it, which I will bring up. But first, let's increase our charisma real quick. I hope this works the way I think it does. I, I don't see why it wouldn't. Hey, there you are! Okay, so now we have... Shogun Lamellar. <laughs> Shogun Lamellar. Alright, well, fuck. Now we, now we have a Shogun Lamellar. Let's see what that shit does. I am shocked that there's this much. Okay, so it's like a... It's a big-ass increase. Honestly. Yeah, that, that just... Increases damage. This is better than the Goblin Mail all around. Shit, well, uh, you know, I bought the Goblin Mail, but I didn't really get a whole lot of use for it. I mean, I guess I tanked the damage in that one area. Although I still needed the, uh, potion, huh? There we go. So what are my issues with the thing? Um, I think that the... Is it possible to kill this thing? We're just gonna try this for a little bit. I think that the USB... C to USB A connector that comes with it, which you kind of need if you want to use it as a permanent desk clock, is very very short. So I, I can't even like it can't even reach an outlet. You know what I mean? 
or a charger. So I just have it plugged into my keyboard and I'm using it on my computer desk. But if I wanted to use it on like my nightstand, I would have to buy another uh, USB-C to USB-A connector. Which, I don't know. Oh shit, look at you! Which kind of sucks. Um, but as for now, it works fine. I just, you know, I have to buy something else later on, you know? Which kind of sucks. But I mean, in the packaging, I'm not really sure how they would have even incorporated a longer wire. But a longer wire would have been nice. But the Japanese have just this burning hatred of convenience when it comes to long wires for whatever fucking reason. I mean, I don't know. They're just fucking assholes. I don't know. I know some people are big fans of the Japanese. Don't get me wrong. I'm a, I'm a weeb too, guys. I'm a weeb too, but I'm gonna criticize the Japanese as a culture where and when I can when they give me reason to. Um, what is another complaint? Um, I guess it's minor, but I, I think it would have been cool to have had... Honestly, the sprites are pretty fucking good on this game, huh? I like how the, the skulls look like, um... Those Ikum Okum skulls. From, uh, Banjo-Kazooie. I think it'd be cool if the clock, uh, move... The, like, look clock standby thing. If there wasn't just Zelda 1 clock, but if there was a Zelda 2 clock option. I mean, there's a timer, but who, who the fuck is using the timer, really? Oh, in case I'm, like, cooking some eggs and I want to use my Zelda Game & Watch. It's, it's a little weird. I don't know. But it'd be cool to have as a clock the Zelda 2 option and the uh, Link's Awakening option. Because, I don't know, I think that'd have been pretty fucking sick. It's kind of shit I'm interested in. But the uh, clock itself, I guess I should talk about that. Okay, can you fuck off? Oh yeah, we are tanky now. Look at that. Taking like no fucking damage. Um, the clock's cool. Pretty much what happens is you get like a... Uh, time of day shading, depending on if, you know, time of day. I think, like, Pokemon Gold and Silver style. Which is cool. It's cool seeing, like, Legend Zelda NES Hyrule. You know, evening and morning and <laughs> nighttime, you know? It just looks cool. I like it. I like it. It's good. And what happens is from at noon and at midnight, right, Link starts his quest by going and picking up the sword, and every... 30 minutes, he goes into a dungeon, and every hour he finishes, you know, he kills a boss and gets either just a heart container. Okay, alright, dick. Either just gets a heart container, or a heart container and a Triforce piece, right? Alright, come on. Fucking work with me here. There we go. Okay. And then, once it hits from, you know, if it starts at noon and when it hits midnight, you know, he kills Ganon with a full Triforce, and if he starts at midnight and then it hits noon, uh, same thing, right? So you get two full quest cycles a day of, you know, it's just, it's cool. It's just very cool. Second half of each hour, he's in the dungeon. First half of each hour, he's in the overworld. It's very fucking interesting. Um, it also has the Japanese versions of each game. It has separate save files, too. So you can check out the version differences of that. And also the, um... Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 on the NES? In Japan, they were on that really shitty disc system. But the disc system in Japan... You know, they were pretty much... If you don't know about the disc system, it was pretty much, uh... They wanted to fit more in a cartridge without adding to the cartridge. So they spent a whole bunch of money to make a new peripheral that just was... Nintendo floppy disks, right? That's all it was. It was a fucking Nintendo floppy disk. And there's load times in the belt feeder that rotate the fucking thing. Really sucked. And then there was piracy. And really, it wasn't even the quality that uh, Nintendo stopped, but um, just the piracy. Because you could just like, rewrite a new game onto it. 
But then in any in America on the NES, they just you know took that shit and they're like, you know, we'll just add to the chips themselves and that way we won't have to do all this wacky fucking shit. And then the game works great. Oh god, little fucker. All right, all right, Dick. So anyway, um, but for the disc system, one interesting thing that they had is uh, the disc system games themselves. So Metroid, Castlevania, Castlevania 3, I think Castlevania 2 as well. Um, Zelda and Zelda 2. We're all in the disc system, there's extra sound channels. So the sound is actually more impressive and the sound effects themselves are different for those games. So playing on the Japanese versions, even though uh, a lot of times they're actually a little bit harder in some ways, they're more, um, I wonder where that skull went. Oh, look at you. Fucker! Ah, he's juking me! Here we go. Oh god, I keep getting juked. Sine waves, my mortal fucking enemy. Mm, I wonder what's up here. Aha. What's a sky castle? Oh, I'm picking up what you're putting down, motherfucker. And what's down? Interesting. Um, alright, I guess I'm, I'm fine. I'm not gonna drown Sonic style yet. Cool. So the sound is more impressive, and honestly, it's like to the point where it's actually worth listening to, you know, just straight up. Oh, look at that, we got another heart. Nice. Did we always only have four hearts? Did we start the game with two hearts? Huh. Crazy. All right, well, I guess we'll go in here real quick. Goodbye, medicine. Um, it's a little expensive, but I mean, we might actually want the medicine, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy one. There we go. Ah, okay, so that's how we get back to town. All right, so we're about to start a new, a new quest, new castle. We might want to go back later, just to, um... Like, if we have too much trouble, because there's probably more shit for us to get, you know? Here we are. Uh, what happens if I kill this thing? Uh, money, which I can't get, you little fucker. Really? What's the point of him? Gay baby jail just for my own amusement to murder. Seems a little sad, honestly. Alright, so we want to jump there. Beautiful! Alright, on to the next castle. Ooh, spooky. Spooky mouse castle. What, what happens down here? Oh god. Good music, too. Shit. Oh my god. Jesus. Man, I, I just get juked. I don't know if it's just because I suck or if it's actually just that tricky. I know people bitch about the Medusas in Castlevania, so I guess it can't entirely be just me. Fuck! Stop it! Stop it! Fuck! Oh my god! Ah, oh yeah. Shit, we do have a shield, don't we? Nice. Hey, there we are. We're, we're working it. So, um, Zelda 2 in particular is really weird, though, with the Japanese version. Uh, obviously, there's really no reason to play the, um, in my my understanding. No reason to play the Japanese Link's Awakening. I don't think there's anything really different about it. Yeah, can you, like, fuck off, though?
Because, you know, the Game Boy chip, in terms of sound, is the same either way, and everything else is the same. Honestly, I think the graphics are just improved for the uh, English release, so I mean, it's all around better. Yeah, just like little things, like making the game slightly more tropical setting for Link's Awakening. But the Japanese Zelda 2 is kind of fascinating and bullshit. So how it works is... And I don't even fully understand how it works, to be sure, so maybe I'm not the... I mean, I, I kind of grab... Oh, come on, why am I facing the other way when I jump on it? Fuck! Oh, God. Hold on, we gotta take this shit slow. Yeah, like, I face the opposite way when I land. Oh, God. What the fuck? Oh, my God. How many enemies are there here? What did I just pick up? Did I just pick up a new sword? Oh my god, I did. Oh, there's there's weapon drops. Fuck me, dude. Oh my god. That is a uh, a big increase. Holy shit, that's like a Castlevania um Dawn of Sorrow shit. And Aria of Sorrow. I guess also Symphony of the Night too. Crazy. Actually fucking insane. So I wonder if it would be worthwhile to grind on certain types of enemies. I mean, I guess if you knew what was going on here. Oh shit, look at this fucker. I didn't even go down either. I might want to go down later on. God. There we are. I gotta, I gotta use those a little bit more. Oh, yay! What am I, what am I doing here? Um, I guess if it's this... Yeah, I just used all my fireballs. We, we can use some of these. Come on! Oh, did you see that shit? You just charge your ass, man. Yeah, this seems to be just repeating endlessly. I wonder what would have happened if I'd gone down, huh? Oh, fuck! Oh, come on, dude! Oh, fucking fuck off, dude! What a dickhead! Why would you even come down here? I assumed you just wouldn't. I don't know why I assumed you wouldn't. Oh, well, you would, like, stay on your plane, dude. Oh, no! There's a heart! Ow! God damn it! Fuck! I want these things dead, but it's not even worth it. I'm, I'm just being stubborn right now. I know I am, but still. What the fuck is this sound? Am I running out of time or some shit? What the fuck was that sound, dude? So this is where I started. But, oh god, what if I went down? Man, I'm gonna have to re-explore this shit, won't I? Hold up, let me check what my dog on. Chop up! Oh, yeah, I know, you're such a good girl. I know, I know, baby. There we are, I got the lab results from her. She's all good. No, uh, no artworms or parasites or any dog-related bullshit I gotta worry about, which is very nice. She's a good girl. I love her. I know, baby girl. Sleep on the bed. Um, let's see... Uh, yeah, I was talking about Zelda 2, and I just kept getting distracted because it was, like, 40 chests, apparently, to me. So, with Zelda 2, in the Japanese version, if you have, like, your weapon at level 2, and your health at level 2, and your magic at level 1, right? And then you die... Like, you get a game over, you know, you run out one-ups. All of your shit reverts back to level one. Everything reverts to whatever your highest level is, right? Which is complete horseshit. But, um, you know, you can when you level up, you can choose whatever you want. Like, it's all the same value. 
but it means that if you're like, you know, you're at level 7 with everything, you're trying to get everything to level 8, and then you get two of them to level 8, which is, you know, the longest grind session in the game. Can you just fuck off, please? Oh my god. Alright, at least he gave me a potion. So the longest grind session in the game is getting everything to level 8. Because, the you know, when you get a game over, you lose all of your experience points in the fucking game. Uh, the game's pretty fucking horseshit. It's one of the most horseshit games I've ever played in my life, honestly. I, I play it a lot. And I hate it. <laughs> because, once again, Zelda 2 is what this game is doing. Only this game's doing it better without all the horseshit. It's enraging. Like, the promise here, that's fulfilled here, is attempted in Zelda 2. But Shiggy is kind of a fucking asshole and decide to rush things. Once again, I, I hate that Nintendo fans suck Shigeru Miyamoto's, Miyamoto's dick. He's, he's kind of a cunt if you look into his character. But, um, yeah, so he rushed that shit. Alright, get over here. Okay. There we are. Oh my god. I, I absolutely fucking lutely hate this thing. I, I can't even- Oh, god, down and jump. Oh, that shoots straight up. Oh, god, I could have used that on the Lekitu, motherfucker. Oh, god. I- Oh my god. So what, what do I use for these assholes, then? Tornado, okay. Select with A, not start. Okay. Oh my god. Dude. That is enraging. Those guys fucking are cancer, man. Okay, 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 yes. No, I'm, I'm getting caught on the corner. Fuck. Let's go. Go up. Jesus. Oh, man. Thank God my shield works, huh? This is gonna be the boss. Yes, uh... Shit. No, no, no! Oh my God, I'm, I'm out. Oh God, please, please, I can't, I can't choose anything. I have, I have no access to my items, fuck. What? What? You gotta be kidding me. Dude, this is... I... Oh, what am I supposed to do here? I can't... I can't hit him. And he just puts me in gay baby jail. Oh my god. What the f fuck am I supposed to do here? This is a zombie dragon. I, dude, I have like no range and I, what in the hell? There we are, okay, so you only get one shot. This is like the fucking M&M of video games right here. Okay, Jesus Christ, dude. But could you have, like, taught me in a less enraging way? Because this is fucked. And I have the Shogun Sword, so he should die quicker. Hopefully I don't fucking die. Oh my god. Ugh. Don't miss your fucking mark here, huh? Slow, slow and fucking steady, dude. Going through all that will suck, but I mean, I still want to check out what's in the, um... Bottom part of that dungeon. Probably another heart. Probably would have helped me, huh? Shit. 
shit, maybe I won't be able to check it out if I, um... If I fuse again, huh? So how this works is you want to get as much money as you can. It's apparently a throwback to, like, the second Wonder Boy game. Alright, I guess I'm never getting that shit down there, huh? Oh my god, everyone's being so fucking mean to me. Alright, so now I'm Merman and I can swim. Good. Shit. Apparently, I was also looking into the uh, instruction manual. It seems that you can turn back to other things at certain points later on. So, I mean, I guess we can get that shit later. I just have to make a mental note. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, shit. Um, my charisma points dropped, didn't they? Did they? They might have, huh. So it might be tied to your animal form as well. Dancing shield. Mithril shield. Oh, and apparently some of these things do something different. Oh, what's up? Uh, Caxips. Caxips06. How are you doing today, buddy? Hopefully you're doing well. So apparently looking at the instruction manual, though, the shields do different things. So there's your standard shields, and then you have shields that have special properties. I guess it's the same thing with the armor and the shield, and the, I mean the sword. This is more defense, but this might block against crazier shit, so we're just gonna hold on to that. Um, I guess the goblin male is just relatively speaking more shit, but it might also do something too, huh? We'll, uh, we'll just keep it like this. And keep an eye out for goblins and see if anything changes at them. Well, I guess that's trying to show me that I have more range with this, huh? Alright, well, uh, shit, all the same, let's, let's head back. I want to buy more of this? Actually, yes. And there's also that one shop, too. Fuck. That I, I can only access as, you know, at the start of this area. So, I mean, I guess we'll make a mental note of that as well. So, the midget dungeon and the midget shop. I want to check that out. Now we're back here. We already got everything this guy has. That is, that is a 100%ed shop. I guess we'll write down this as well. Uh, where was I writing this shit down? Right down here. Okay, let's write this shit down. G1, Y4, WOG, and that might be a zero, who knows? ERCN, X3L. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's keep it up. Apparently there's only like five or six bosses in the game, so we've beaten like three of them, so I guess we're Kind of halfway through, if not more. So that shit falls down. Shit goes that way. Oh god. See, I already forget everything about this game <laughs> in the short time I have not been playing it. Oh god, please. Please, please, what fresh hell is this? Oh wait, can I? I want to like, go down there. Probably not, because there's these blocks here. And there's a house over here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. Actually worth it. Actually worth healing. Gotta remember that is a thing. And we cannot get back over here without the midget power. But anyway, uh, briefly what I was saying about Zelda 2, though. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, I want to go down. I want to go down. There we are. Oh, boy. That is stressful, huh? So what was down here? Forget all of this shit. Oh, that's just a way back up. Okay. And nothing. 
yes, so we got this. Got it. That was just, I guess, your first education on how doors work and chests work from the first time. And if we go in here, I think this leads us to the beach. Check this shit out real quick. Which would make sense, because now we are Merman. Merman. Oh shit, look at that! What, your male modeling? Hanging out with your weeder out for everyone to see? Oh god, how do I... <laughs> okay, I guess there's a power for this, huh? Hmm. Well, we have the dancing shield. And the goblin mail. Does that, does that do anything special? And does my sprite change, actually? I think, I think the, uh, yeah, the sprite actually changes, depending on what you have. It's contextual. It's actually very impressive. Alright, we'll still want this shit. Okay. Maybe, or maybe it's my imagination, who knows. Uh, before we jump... Wait a minute. Where is this exactly? Where, where am I supposed to be? Is that where I started? Okay, so if I can jump up here, I can get a chest. And if I jump down to the right, that leads me to the beach, I believe. Okay. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, I... I <laughs> I'm not even sure if I finished my fucking tangents ever. Zelda 2 is an infuriating game with a lot of promise, but the Japanese Zelda 2, even though it has better sound, is even worse. But when they brought that over, they fixed the losing levels thing, but you still lose your experience upon death, which is still horseshit. I guess that's really my point. If they kept that shit in the oven a little bit longer, it would have resulted in a better game, but they didn't because it's uh, Miyamoto we're talking about. That's really all I, I really wanted to say. Um, will I die? I just jump? Well, that leads there. This leads here. I believe this door leads back the house. This is some nice music here. And we're gonna want to swim in each area. But yeah, it's like interesting progression, right? Where... I don't know. With, in terms of action RPG platformers, you had Zelda 2 and you had Castlevania 2. Both games had promise, but they were... Honestly, not just not very good. Like, yeah, they had promise, though, you know? They, they could have been great. They could have been amazing. But then here's this game doing this at the same time, and, you know, sh games like Shantae, you have Metroidvanias, and then you have Shantae. Shantae does this style without necessarily being a Metroidvania, and does it extraordinarily well. It's just kind of, uh, kind of sad. Yeah, alright, dick. Yeah, um, combat's a little bit weird. When you're underwater and can kind of fly. Swim. But it's the same thing as flying. Yeah, there's, there's something that's gonna allow me to, like, break these or... Some shit. I don't know. So is this the, um, the starting area? Or is this the second screen? I, I actually don't know. Fuck. Oh wait, I don't even have to uh, go all the way back. Crabs do not result in me falling back down and having to go through the entire screen again. Got it. Yeah, or is this like a new screen? I don't even know. Okay, so this is the first area, and it's all connected, but there's that one area where I can break the blocks maybe later. For 
now let's go in here and see what's up with this. We have the Aqua Shield. Nice. I will buy it. And that's the only thing this guy sells. Let's see what this Aqua Shield does. Oh, well, look at that shit. It's just straight up better. Alright, so the, um... The sprites are not contextual, but that would have been really cool if they were. But yeah, I swear to God, if this game was on the NES, this would have been... Probably a top 20 game for the system, from what I'm experiencing so far. Like, this is really, really good. It's forgiving, which is a lot more than I can say for most uh, Nintendo games at the time. And, you know, and I played, I just finished playing a little bit of Shinobi 1, and I'm not saying that game's easy, but that game was fairly forgiving. There's no time limit. I just don't get why it took game devs so long to pull their fucking heads out of their ass. When it came to difficulty, you know? Alright, so now we have the second area. We could go down here. We have one area here. Very big pool here. Come on. I want my one gold, bro. Then I think that's a shop. And then we have a new area. Okay, okay. So first things first, let's go into the hut. Let's go into the hidey hole. Oh, that just leads to the... I mean, I guess. Okay, weird. Okay, can you stop fucking me in the asshole, dude? Please, pull your penis out. It's okay. So if I, like, just jump up, right? That just leads me... Yes, okay. Okay, I got it, I got it. Yeah, this is a very chill game. So anyway, yesterday I did not stream because I was busy studying. Oh, ha 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 ha, you fuck! I was busy studying and also fucking around with that game and watch. Of all the things I could have been playing, right? And I initially bought it because I had, um... I have a lot of nostalgia for Link's Awakening. But I did just finished playing Link's Awakening, so probably get around to playing that one eventually. But the first thing I sank a shit ton of time to, go figure Zelda 2. I just I just have that, like, eternal chip on my shoulder of, like, uh... Never beaten it, so maybe I'll finally finish it this time. Like, I can get to the final castle, fine, or final palace, fine. It's just a very frustrating experience. There's an area there. Then there's this thing, which I think I got. Yeah, I did get this one. Okay. Yeah, as long as you're killing shit, I feel like gold is never a problem. Oh god, you know what is the problem is this fucker. Nice. Oh, please! <laughs> Please, God damn it! Get the fuck out of there. It is hard to get out of the water. Yeah, so that's just the first area if I go to the left. So I have to find something that's gonna allow me to break through those blocks. Come on, please. I know I can just swim across, but it's a little awkward. Swimming's a little bit awkward. It's cool that it's here. Not, not, not exactly my fave. Oh yeah, the shield, the shield is nice. I guess maybe there's a percent chance of blocking, or I don't know. I'm not entirely sure of how it works. But yeah, I will say though, um, being able to fuck around with the Japanese um, games on that thing is pretty cool. Just because that added sound. It is, it does add to the experience pretty well. So let's try the arrows. A direct fucking hit. Oh, please. There we are. 11 gold. Not bad. And we have this house here, which... What does this do? We have this shop. 
something is here. Which I don't think I have anything that increases my cheese pizza points. Hmm. What's that dancing? I mean, I'm sure I could just look this up, but that kind of defeats the purpose. I want to be able to, to learn. To learn on my own. Alright, uh, shop at the end of the ocean has magic shit. I just gotta remember that. There's a key? Ah, I don't fucking know what that key does. What the fuck does that key do? Um, I'll try again to see what I can do about the, uh... Yeah, I mean, I get 20 gold for it. It's worth a couple arrows. Arrows are pretty much four of those guys, from what I can tell. But yeah, like, that's the thing that, like, game de devs just didn't figure out, is games don't have to be punishing. They could just be relaxing and fun. They can also be punishing. I mean, look at Dark Souls. But man, game devs really need to figure that shit out a little bit sooner than they did. Alright, so if I have any of this... Ignore this shit. All I'm gonna do is go all the way around here. Oh god, I scratched my nose, no! But yeah, so, so something something about Zelda 2, uh, it's just, it's one of the NES games that we had growing up. That worked, I mean we had a couple of NES games, so that, that one seemed to have worked, so when it was available in the, uh... The Wii Shop channel. The Virtual Console, whatever the fuck it's called. Way to break these? I should try that. Now my dog's barking in her sleep. I'm not sure if the, uh... Did that go back to me? It did. Yeah, Thunder just kills everything on screen, and I wasted it, but that's fine. I don't really care that much. That sure shit doesn't break it, and... it's It's gotta be a special sword or some shit. Okay. There we are. So I just put a lot of time into it. It's always just been a game where I, I can just see the promise in it. It's always been disappointed because I really like this style game. So I've just always had a chip on my shoulder about that fucking game in particular. See, it's potential, but man, is it overshadowed by its bullshit. So I can understand why people hate that game so much. Um, but yeah, overall, I think the Zelda game to watch is just, this is cool. This is a cool thing. I dig it. All right, I guess we're going to the left then. Um, let me save again, and then I, I guess I could grab a... Yeah, how about every time we're in town, we'll just grab the password. It's not a big deal. It takes two seconds. Um, let's see. 6C... JZ... EKL. Sorry, I'm like typing the dark here. and should turn on some lights. RLP. 9 u Right now I'm using my uh, my laptop here. I'm, you know, playing on the TV. So I'm kind of away from the computer. My uh, actual desktop PC, you know. ERLB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks fine. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you, Smoking Pig Man. Yeah, I guess we're going to that other area, huh? really sure what the game wants me to do at this point. Oh shit, I could have probably done something freaky up there. God damn it. Ah, I wish I had the mouse again. Hopefully I didn't softlock. 
I don't think uh, the game seems to have been doing a lot really well. So I guess I'm at the top of the tower, so no need to jump down, yeah? That would just lead me back to town, I'm assuming. Alright, so we can go to the left to where there's the desert, but I don't think there's much of a point, yeah? I still want to kill these things. We'll go right. I think we got everything to the left. But, uh, you know, who fucking knows. There we go. Beautiful. This guy kind of can serve him a little bit, because, you know, I don't have a whole lot of arrows. Although, yeah, it's, it's given me a couple. Alright, so these guys are much more manageable now than when I was here before, because I have much better equipment. I mean, they still fuck me up a little bit, and they're still kind of annoying, but uh, it's, it's doable, so this might be where I'm supposed to be. You'd think that I wasn't supposed to be here as the fucking merman. You'd think the beach would make more sense, but... Who knows? <laughs> Fuck out, please! Oh, look at these tanky bastards. They take some damage. Oh, shit! Oh, come on! At least you stay in your invincibility frame until you're no longer being juggled. It's a small, small mercy. Okay, okay. Okay, oh, god. Alright, alright. I'm ready for you. Ah! No, I'm not. Okay. Let's focus. Oh, that's a lot of money gone. Good. I'm assuming I cannot... I mean, yeah, I'm not going to the fucking lava. Here we are. Yeah, like you're getting health drops. Oh, so let me <laughs> let me talk about like my my theory. Uh, I don't I don't mean to talk about Zelda 2 while I'm playing like a superior action RPG, but it's just on my mind because I've been fucking around with that a little bit when I should have been more productive. Oh God, please get out. Um, would fireballs fuck these guys up? I feel like they should. Worth it. Uh, maybe not worth it. Okay, alright, alright, you dick. Worth it. <laughs> Shit. Goddamn, stop giving me, like, rewards in the death area. Oh my goodness. Alright. At least these things seem to stay dead. But, um, health drops would have made the game a lot better. Shit. Oh my god. Oh shit, please! Oh my god. So, <laughs> health drops would have made Zelda 2 a lot better, right? Another thing they could have done. So, on the map, I believe that there's. Three or four one-ups? I think I don't think there's only three. But when you grab it, it's permanently gone for that save file, and it's only good until you get a game over, obviously, because so it extends the amount of time you're able to grind for in that one run. If that makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense, it's fine because it's very a weird way it was done and should have been done that way, honestly. Here we go. Jesus Christ. Why did they do this? Shit, no! 
Can I jump out this way? Oh god. I only have one one option, and that's to uh Oh my god. If only I could kill these things in one go, that would have been fine. Holy shit. I am so fucking dead. Oh my god, it's a fucking dead hipster. We could only be so lucky. Oh my god, though. Why'd they do this? Oh god. I'm gonna waste all my shit trying to kill this fucking thing. Does that come back? It does. Oh, please, let me get it! Oh, no! Ah, god damn it! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Motherfucker, dude. That sucked. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, alright. Well, we have more cheese pizza points. We got a key. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with a key. I don't think we had enough... We have enough cheese pizza to really change those uh, shops, though. I mean, we could check. It seems like a lot of work, though. And the shop to have bought more... Like, our chance to have bought more potions is back there when we were to the mouse. Yes, this might, this might be a very difficult stretch here. I mean, I could try going back. I mean, it's just that one shop at the end of the city, yeah? I mean... Fuck it, might as well try. Real quick. Shit, this is not where I want to be. God damn it. <laughs> it's so fucking confusing. This is above us. That's how we get to the fire area where we want to be. I mean, I guess we could go to the left when we're on the overworld. Let me double check and make sure where everything is up here. Yeah, so this is, this is fine. Go down here. What's to the left? It was just a dead end, yeah? And this is just a new area, really. How's it? Yeah, there's there's a thing that's blocked off that we can't get to. And then down there, if we could get higher out of there, we'd be able to uh, get a chest. Go in here. We already got the thing there. Okay. Yeah, I, like, memorize this shit. I'm not drawing the map or anything. Not for this game. And we are just going to the end of the ocean. There's nothing else to really grab here. But we still might as well kill some things. We might get a potion. Oh, yeah, I like that screen tearing. Why does it do that? I don't know. Once again, you think uh, they'd be able to do this shit flawlessly? On the Raspberry Pi, the Retro Pi, but they can't. I. Yeah, and it's not even that like, I'm, I'm trying to trash the uh, Raspberry Pi, because I think the Raspberry Pi is great. More people should get it. But. To try to pretend that the emulation is perfect or there aren't errors, especially when it comes to PlayStation 1, you know, you're out of your fucking mind. Although, for some things, I think it's great. NES, Super Nintendo, that kind of shit. Oh, what's up, Pickle? I'm glad you're fucking awake, dude. How are you doing? It's been quite a while. Hopefully you're doing good. Uh, was it this one? Maybe it was this one. No, that is where we go to the thing. Yes, okay. Got it. I'm quite entirely sure on the point of that. Living the dream? I got you, bro. Hopefully you're doing good overall. You playing anything recently? What you playing recently? Here we are, nice. And we'll just ignore this cloud. No need to kill everything. As fun as that is. Terraria and GTA 5. I did hear that they uh, improved GTA 5 a little bit, which is surprising. I remember playing back when there was like a million cheaters. Oh, is it 
insane. Alright, even if we had the charisma for this motherfucker to sell us this thing, we, uh, we don't have quite have the money yet. That is a lot. Alright. So, uh, note to self. That is expensive as shit and probably takes a lot of charisma. So we are gonna fuck around in the volcano. But we are gonna move to the left first just to see, just to see what's there. You know, there might be something that helps me out. And then just seeing the world as well will, uh, help me understand where I need to go and what I, more importantly, where I don't need to go. How's Terraria doing? I, I see that they're still doing updates. I still point to Terraria as the the indie game that proves that we should not be going soft on indie game devs. Because if the Terraria devs were able to make that fucking game, then, <laughs> then we should have higher standards for indie games in general. Because they can do some really good things if we uh, don't baby them and overlook a million fucking issues. Just because the devs have pink hit hair and live in Seattle. Yeah, I thought even Slime Rancher, like I didn't I liked Slime Rancher. I thought it was a fine game, but I didn't love it. I think even Slime Rancher gets blown quite a bit. Um, let's see. Pickle says GTA 5 is meh. Play because my friend one two Terraria is still lit. I gotcha. Yeah, Slime Rancher is like it's fine. It's just the feedback loop is so shallow and microscopic that you really... I mean, obviously all games have some form of a feedback loop, especially, uh, you know, I think like Stardew Valley, that kind of shit, even Terraria. But if the feedback loop is too narrow and too shallow, too rapid, you start to notice it. A lot. And you're like, wow, I'm just doing the same two things over again. Um, should we write down a... Note. Nah, fuck it. We'll be fine. I can just save like that. So we are going to... God, I should've, I should've fucking... I should've climbed that shit as a mouse. Fuck. Should've explored more. So if I just, like, jump to the left, yeah? Oh, there's an arrow there, too. Is there something up there? Shit, I probably would've had another heart, which would've improved my survivability, made it a lot easier. I hope I, I hope after you get all the forms, you get some way to freely switch between the forms. There we go. Yeah, of the Master System games I've played, probably this... R-Type, Shinobi, Ninja Gaiden, probably the best. I, I mean, I guess if, you know, if you had, theoretically, if you had a Master System, you would want an RPG, then yeah, I'd get Fantasy Star, but, and I feel like people, people overlook some of the flaws of that game. Granted, as far as 8-bit RPGs goes, I would say Fantasy Star is in the top three, which is to say, you know, it's very good for its time. But, oh, oh boy. A little bit rough. Towards the beginning and the very end of that one. Oh, speaking of which, um... Uh, for future reference, if you're watching this on YouTube, still working through Fantasy Star 2, it's getting a lot better now that I'm... Yeah, let's use a uh, tornado. I only have one, though. Hey! Oh shit, there's water down here. Motherfucker. Alright, well, good thing we checked. And nothing to do over here. But yeah, now, um, now that I have options to do things, right? If I jump up here. In Fantasy Star, you know, like, I can freely switch between characters, and I have a lot to play around with, and I have most of the world opened up. It's, um, it's a lot better. 
because it is fun to fuck around with the different character archetypes, you know? Customization is good, it's why I still say Final Fantasy 1 and 3 are the top two 8-bit JRPGs. So if I jump up here... There's another dude, but I'm taking very little damage, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm just making sure there's no, like, hidden-ass treasure. I want to make absolutely sure. Oh, yeah, that fucker. I remember that fucker. I remember dying to him a lot. This probably is where I'm supposed to go, actually. I mean, I'm sure there's some good shit in the volcano, but I'm sure the only real barrier is do you have enough stats to... Do you have enough stats and are you good enough to get through it? So I'm sure you're able to actually break through that even as the lizard form. That's a lot of work. Alright, time to take some damage from the blue one. Oh yeah. Not as much as before. Damn, how fucking far is this shit? I feel like it's just a dead end too. I feel like we there was a treasure chest that we got as the lizard man down here. Which is weird, because there's water down here, so you would think that, you know, with water being down here, it'd be something good for the lizard man, but there's not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel like this whole area in the desert, we pretty much got everything, but my memory is so fucking bad, I can't even remember. Maybe I should have reviewed the footage. Like fucking John Madden. Oh, alright, alright, fucker. Can you, like, fuck off for a second? Oh my god. It's, like, just high enough to require me to do some serious ass maneuvering while the cloud is just out of my reach. Alright, fucker. Yeah, enjoy that shit, buddy. And we climbed the pyramid, I believe. I mean, I guess we can climb again. <laughs> Shit. I'm pretty sure we got whatever's up here, though. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I think we are legitimately just supposed to go the direction of the volcano. Oh god, no, don't waste the arrows, you fuck. Ah, god damn it. Here, fireball. Fireball's fine. Is it a sh maybe it was a shop. No. This is like a heart. Ooh, see, we get 30 gold from that motherfucker. That would actually wouldn't be that bad to grind right there. Although, I, I don't think you need to grind money in this game, from what I can tell. Unless you were, like, speedrunning this shit. And your path was so optimal that you didn't have that much money, but at that point you wouldn't really need the items bought anyway, you know? That was the first dungeon, so I think we got everything in there. Okay, so this is this is oh no 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 no, that um that's how you get back up. Okay. It's like a one-way, like you go through here, and then you go through there, and then up. Yes, okay. All right. Figuring it out. And then this leads into the, oh shit, did we get that? I think we got that as the mouse, yeah? Fuck, the mouse has all of the best shit, apparently. When you're the mouse, you want to just take your fucking time and not, <laughs> and just explore the whole map. Because as the other forms, there's not as much cool shit to get. Hey, I can just do that. Save myself the, uh... Save myself some arrows for when I really need them. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. I think the, um... The vertical range of my shield as the merman seems more than the lizard man or the mouse. I don't know why it would be, but it, it seems to be the case. I don't know why that shot from behind me. <laughs> please! Alright, we're looking good. We're taking the detour route, <laughs> clearly. But, uh, I need to figure out where I need to go. Which apparently is just a volcano. Hmm. Oh, I started to talk about ways they could have improved Zelda 2. So, health drops, right? And then with the limited 1-ups, which become fucking pointless, they should have had the three super hidden one-ups that are, once you pick them up, they're gone for the entire save file. They should have had that permanently increase your life count when you respawn, right? Another thing they could have had added is make it so there's a way to refill your lives, maybe at the very start of the map, the start of the game, at, uh, you know, where Zelda's sleeping. You know, you go back to the beginning point of the map, but you get your, uh, you get your lives back. Or, another thing, shops. Money and shops. Why do they take that out? I don't know. But money and shops would have been very fucking cool. I would have appreciated them. Alright, well now we have plenty of shit to work with. God damn it. Stop juking me! Oh god, it just sucks. It just sucks to get juked so much. Simple patterns. And pattern recognition. It's working my ass. Please! You guys are fucking assholes! Holy shit! Oh please, I want the money! <laughs> I want the money! <laughs> And I'm almost near death. Oh, there we are. Thank God. The game heard my pleas. Um, let's try... Fireball. Dead. Shit. Alright. This is a pretty extreme part of the game so far, honestly. Like, it's... Once again, all around, this game's not nearly as difficult as some of the other games I've been mentioning in the stream. The Castlevania 2. Zelda 2. Oh, my God, we got a potion. But... This is a pretty intense ramp-up right here. Especially this guy. Oh, come on! Oh, like... Dude... I don't know what I'm supposed to do for these assholes. Shit. Ah, <sighs> man. Maybe if I back away, it looks like they chill the fuck out for a second. Yeah, it looks like they chill the fuck out of it back if you let them, uh... Are you kidding me? Alright, alright. What is this thing doing? It's making me paranoid. Back away. And then you shoot that. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. They just give you some warning shots. A lot of them. Ooh, beautiful. All right, we're back in the game. All right, we gotta kill the dead, the dead hipster. Good. Got 
God, the range kind of sucks on that one. Oh, please, Soka. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, the range is like just barely. God, these dead hipsters are giving me anxiety. It's like I'm in Kenosha or something. There we go. Alright, what, what are we doing there? So what happens if I go in here? <laughs> you like that one, Pickle? <laughs> I thought that one was really good. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, let's, <laughs> let's check this one out. Oh, nice, Dragon Mail. It probably protects me from... The fire. Beautiful. Thank God. Oh, that drops my uh, cheese pizza points quite a bit, but that's fine. It also drops my uh, defense points, but I guess it's fine. If it protects me from fire. And this must just leave. Oh no, look at this bitch! Okay, cool. So that means we're about to go into the next dungeon. Oh god. Beautiful! Oh my goodness. The fucked up thing is we died like right when we were about to pick that shit up too. That would have saved me a lot of anguish. Oh good god! Damn it, fuck you. Oh please! Oh you gotta be kidding me. He's like just the perfect vertical height where I can't hit him. God. All right, all right, all right, dicks. I just want the gold. Run! Oh shit, Art! No, there we are. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's like some classic old game shit. Is showing you something you want and then having knockback prevent you from ever getting it. getting permanent cheese pizza points. Good. Alright. Damn. This is a fucking... They're working my ass. There we go. Okay. Into the next castle. Alright. Looks like we're about to get some shit change. Alright. Oh god. Oh no! It's a puzzle. Shit. Oh, okay. And now we are Dragon Boy again. And now we are Midget Man. Oh, wait, could the dragon have broken that shit? Oh my goodness. Alright, alright. Well, now now we finally have access to a changing platform. Which is crazy. Enjoy the epileptic shock. Might be. No, I, I feel like... Nah, because there's like vertical platforms and shit too earlier. Well, I have to remember this location. Yeah, because I couldn't be able to get this shit with the dragon. <laughs> Fisto furry confirmed. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, this is... This is all kinds of furry shit. Changing between animal to animal. Oh, shit! Oh, look at that! And now we got the thing. Oh, good. The Thunder Saber. Okay, so it's... No attack, but it breaks shit. Oh, God. Okay, but we get quite a bit of money from it. Nice. <laughs> Shit, I might actually... Where does this lead to? This might actually lead to the um, next dungeon. Okay, we're gonna have to figure this shit out. 
Huh. Okay. So. Oh god. What did I want to do? Um. Because whatever we do, we're gonna have to come back all the way through here if we want to switch powers, right? But now we can break shit, which is cool. But we did want to explore more with Mouse Man. But then in the ocean, there's that area where we need to break the walls as the Merman. Um, so we definitely want the Merman and then this guy. But this guy first, and I just kind of want to double back. And we'll make our way back here and then turn back to the Merman. And then get the shit again. Uh, Pickle says, yo, you got Valheim. I, I don't believe I do. Um, remind me what that game is again. Like, what kind of game? What kind of shit is it? I've, uh, I've heard about it. I've heard it mentioned a lot. Uh, Viking Survival... Ah, yeah, 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 okay, I know of it. I know of it. I don't think I have it, but... Yeah, we did not get this shit. Goddamn. I don't think we did. Yeah, I've heard I've heard really good things. I've seen footage of it and it looks really good. Yeah, the dancing shield is even better. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I think I think I get this shit. Okay, so some of these shields work better for so the aqua shield works better for the merman. The dancing shield works better for the mouse. Interesting. Okay. Okay, we're gonna want the Shogun armor whenever we're buying anything, and I think the Mouse Man has higher cheese pizza points than everyone else. So I think we might want to at least check the end of the beach as the mouse, just to see if we can purchase the one thing. Okay. Uh, Pickle says it has an art style that will tickle my asshole in a pleasant way. Yeah, I'll um I'll look into Valheim. I'll uh, throw that on my wish list if it isn't already. Oh, well, look at you, you cunt. All right, so this is the best shit in the game, apparently, and I just need the mouse. So the game clearly expected me to uh, get that shit late game anyway. All right, let's check the end of the beach, and then we will... We'll check the end of the beach shop, and then we'll go back into the woods to try that shop and see what's at the bottom of that dungeon and purchase a couple potions. That sounds like a good time. Oh god, yeah, that screen tear, yeah! No, this isn't the right way! Oh, please. God, it's just so hard for me to remember the shit. This door, yes. Huh, there's also some shit over there. Like, up there, there's some blocks I could've broke, I guess? Um, let's see, Pickle says it has a weird combination of graphics that makes it very pleasing. Yeah, I, I've seen footage of it, I've seen a little bit of gameplay footage of it. Um, probably like 30, 40 minutes worth. I just needed the refresher of what exactly it was. attack downwards, though. In order to break that one thing in town where there's water beneath me. We'll have to figure that shit out. Yeah, for whatever reason, the mouse form has higher uh, charisma points than the merman. People don't like mermen. Maybe it's like a uh, HP Lovecraft reference. Some shadow of Eden Smith. Um, was it this one? No, this was just. Yeah, I always get worked by this one. This is such a superfluous door, in my opinion. I'm not really sure on the point. Oh, I guess so. Uh, to platform across back 
home. Yes, okay. That makes sense then. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this game needed more, uh, more love. I know Sega fans, or like, well, Sega boomers, because most Sega fans start with the Genesis, but... Yeah, only like 35 to 45-year-old boomers who grew up with the Master System I hear ever bring this fucking game up. This is great. This is good. I like it. This shit should have been on the NES as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Could break that maybe somehow. Oh, let's see if I can, like, equip the Thunder Saber and then use my... No, that doesn't work. It's probably, like, a, a potion or either a bunch of money or maybe it's... Um... Like, one of those crystals, you know? 198. One, I still don't have enough for it, though. Even with 90 cheese pizza points, that must go really high. I'm assuming the top value is like 255 or something. In case we'll go back to the dragon mail. And I think this is even better. Dragon mail you would only want if you're in lava. Under saver you only want if you're breaking shit. Dancing shield is for the mouse. Okay. Well, we are learning a lot, if nothing else. And I have the arrow equipped, yeah? Yeah. Alright, we can kill this fucking thing. Good! Um, but yeah, uh, what, what else was I gonna say about the Zelda Game & Watch? Oh, so apparently when you keep it idle, right, while you're in-game, you'll get some really cool high-res, you know, for the screen size anyway, some really cool high-res concept art. I guess not even concept art, but just art for um, the respective games, depending on where you are in the game, you know? Depending if you're at the start of the game, or in a cave, or in a dungeon. It's um, pretty fucking cool. But my issue with it, though, is that it's like, if your Game & Watch is unplugged, it's only on screen for, like, a second. So you'd have to have it plugged in like it's um, your desktop clock, which is cool and all, yeah. But you'd have to be in the game, uh, negating the clock function. And then just leave it idle for five minutes, and then depending on where you are, it shows the art respective to where you are. I think it'd be, like, I appreciate having, like, little secrets in the games, in the, uh, in the thing, right? But it would have been cool and very appreciative to have an option where you can just, like, cycle slowly, kind of like a screensaver, through the different concept art, because it does look really good. And I could have all of them all at once. I know it would ruin the sense of discovery, but it would make it more, uh, useful. But otherwise, you're not gonna, like, see all this shit. But yeah, overall, though, a really cool thing, and it, it kind of reflects on how bad that 35th anniversary Mario game and watch was. Which, I mean, it really was. It's not even me being a dick. And now, now, let's not do that, because if I do fall in there, I'm not gonna be able to get out of there. Um, and then this shop, what does this shop have? Yeah, really? Yeah, so... Alright, so all of the best shit in the game is available only to the mouse, it seems. So we have the end of the beat shop. The shop hidden in the tower that only the mouse can get to. Then this shop, which also only the mouse can get to. So this is like end game shit, apparently. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to get that's gonna increase my cheese pizza points enough to see that shit. There we go. Oh, that makes it so much easier. Just killing those fucking things. Oh god!
God damn, dude. Killing me. Thing didn't die, it just went up. Oh my god, it just went further up. Oh my god, dude. Stop it! Wow, this is <laughs> this cancer, dude. Oh my god. Um, wasn't there? I guess there's a chest, yeah, like the top. Fuck. Fuck my memory. Yeah, there's just a chest. Okay. If nothing else, we're also getting a whole bunch of gold by backtracking like this. I just do not want to die or use my potion. I guess I kind of just don't want to use the potion. I kind of don't even want to buy new potions, honestly, because it's expensive and we're apparently going to be in the need for a lot of very expensive shit. Oh shit, we can buy the uh, Shogun Shield now. Do we kind of have I guess not. Well, now now this, now we have everything. Okay. Well, look at that. Maybe we couldn't buy that. Maybe our cheese pizza points were just low enough. All right. So the dancing shield is better for the mouse, but the shogun shield is probably better for everyone else uh, aside from the merman. Okay. Got it. Got it. So that's still good to have. It's good to have options. There we go. I, I I don't know. I'm just like I'm kind of upset that I've never heard of this game before. Um, really fucking around it. And I I wouldn't have played it either because you know Wonder Boy. It sounds fucking lame. <laughs> it sounds a little gay, right? And it was on the Genesis Mini, the uh, sequel, I guess, Wonder Boy 4 and Wonder Boy uh, and Monster World 3. I don't fucking know. It's hard to keep up with these naming conventions. Yeah, I guess this is Monster World 2, technically. So Monster World 3 and Monster World 4 are on the Genesis Mini. So I wanted to play this one because I heard this was a good Master System game. I didn't expect it to be this good. Considering another of the best Master System games is Fantasy Star, which... Once again, I liked. It was a little rough. It was a little rough here and there. I'm sure if you uh, played that shit back in the 80s, it probably would have, you know, made you nut in your pants a couple times. But uh, that shit is definitely a little rough, especially towards the end. I think any JRPG where you can hard lock your save, so you have to reset your entire game at the very end of your quest, is, uh, it's a little unexcusable. Stop fucking jumping around. There we are. Alright, get down here, you fuck. Beautiful. Come on, please. Yeah, the mouse's range is really shit. I mean, if you can't tell. But damn, they of course make him the most useful in terms of uh, getting around. I am getting around, really, but just areas where you just can't get past unless you have the mouse form. Like has a little fuck you. We're getting more of these cheese pizza points, which is nice. Oh yeah, quite a bit of these. Ah, nice. So much cheese pizza, John Podesta would be proud. <laughs> uh, God, killing me inside. I guess now that the Discord has a political channel, I guess I can post uh, those John Podesta emails. Very eye-opening shit what our tax salaries are going to. Let the spirit cooking commence, motherfucker. 
Oh, please, you fucking dickhead! Oh my god! Dude, old games are so great at this kind of shit, you know what I mean? Like, just driving you absolutely batshit insane. Aw, oh, what's up, baby girl? What do you want? Hold up. Hold up, what, what do you want? What do you want, girl? Just lay down. Just lay down. Oh, no, you're so cute, I know. Okay, aw, oh, good girl. Alright, you just sleep. Go to sleep. Damn, how far is this forest? Surprised I got past that, honestly. Damn it! Um, how many fireballs do we have? I mean, they're great, but I, I don't want to use them. Because I'd rather save them for when I absolutely fucking need them. Because when you absolutely fucking need them, you really do absolutely fucking need them. Nice. Just like increase it by one, I guess so, huh? But yes, for those uh, interested, you know, watching the future on YouTube, on the Discord, I did add a political channel uh, to it. So if you want to check that shit out, you can. But you want to mute it, you can mute that shit, and that way, you know, you're the kind who gets butt hurt easily, everyone is happy, and everything keeps going smoothly, which I appreciate. We had uh, certain users who were very adamant about wanting to use the Count of Monte Fisto Discord. To talk about all kinds of shit like that. I, I don't quite get it myself, but hey. It each his own. It takes all kinds of people. Nice. Shit. God damn, those things suck. How long is this fucking... <laughs> How long is this? Oh my god! Alright, let's run. Alright, we're at the end, thank god. So there's a castle which we need to check out. Um, some shit there. Some shit in here. This leads back to town. Buy some medicine, do we want some? God damn it, it's like. It's just expensive enough to where you don't even want to buy it. Because it takes kind of a long time to get some of this money. Some of this other shit is very expensive. We might be better off just holding on to it. I'll buy one. I'll buy a single one. Shit. That door, I think, leads us right back. Okay. We'll check out the bottom of this dungeon that we missed out on. And then uh, go back through here, go back through the volcano, and then change back to the merman to then uh, get to the next area, I guess. Oh, I got you, Pickle. Going in for the night? I got you. I feel lucidity eat itself. I got you, bro. I appreciate you dropping, buddy. There we are. All right, now we're going down. Yeah, this is some good music right here. I really like this shit. Although I think I have it set up so that way the FM sound is kind of like doing the equivalent. That's why the uh, music here might be a little bit better, maybe. I'm not even sure if I set that shit up right, so... Damn it! Ah, oh, this would have been so easy to just grab. It's probably another heart <laughs> to make the volcano way easier. Also, that boss fight was also a pain in the ass. Okay. Mm, well, some tornadoes. And medicine. Okay, I'll take it. Come on, please. I... Mm, I can't stand this fucker. Oh, god damn.
Really? You might want to just use fireballs for that, but I have no more fireballs. I have the tornadoes. Which ain't the same, motherfucker. Alright, let's wait for this bastard. Now that I understand how he works. Um... Shit, how do I get... <laughs> how do I get out of here, though? Oh, God, no. Do I really have to go through the whole dungeon? Just, oh, no. Oh, God, no. I think I have to. Wow, that really sucks. Alright, well, I guess we're going through the whole dungeon again. Once again, that uh, really is quite rough. Uh, jeez. Well, is what it is. I got I got a potion for my troubles. I did learn that. Um. I learned that we're pretty much done the forest. It's just that area when you first go into the forest where there's a couple of shops. And also that uh, secret shop. Yeah. I guess to save myself some time, like, later if I'm, like, backtracking anyway, I could always just look up, like, hey, where are the shop locations? But I think it's just that starting tower right to the left of the village by the starting tower. And then at the very end of the beach, because we took care of the... everything that was available in the shop from the, uh... Everything that was available in the shop, in the forest. I think we're good. Alright, let's keep going, let's keep going. Alright, can you fuck off, bro? Shit, I need to keep walking, but I also want to pick up all the gold. Money is very nice. I guess maybe I could have bought an extra potion, considering. Um, considering we have all this extra money just from backtracking in general. I, I don't understand why they're so hard to hit, but they really fucking are. I guess I just had to, like, think more and use my brain. <laughs> Okay, the, the dragon just disappeared. Good. Alright. Why? Why does the sound change here? That's so weird. I guess just to break it up a little bit, but I think you don't need to break up the other music. The other music's good. There we are. All right. We're slowly getting there. Oh god, this is the fucking scenic route once again. We are getting some charisma tokens, so we are getting progress. Oh, that's that's one thing I was thinking about playing the OG Zelda on the uh, Game and Watch thing. Is it really is a uh, like an insanely impressive title, the original Legend of Zelda. Where it's like, it's simple going back to it, but you gotta remember that's like an early NES release. And like one of the first open world games ever. Ever. And you know, you just, you're always getting progress. Even if you just don't know what you're doing or just wandering aimlessly, you're gonna find something. You're gonna be getting rupees to uh, buy more shit, you know? It just, the game just works, to quote, uh, to quote Todd. <laughs> the game just works. Alright, please. Oh my god, I can't. Oh my god. Yo, those corners really fuck you up. 
I was playing something else where you could walk on walls and the corners also fucked you up. Fuck if I know what the hell I was playing though. Come on, dude. Ugh. God. All right. Oh. All right. I think we're good, and we can open it to the next area. Holy shit! Yay! All right. Yeah. Right to an enemy. Good. I guess it's not too late to buy another potion if we really want to, but. I think we might want to, honestly. They're really nice to have. Like, holy shit. Oh, he's sold out. I wonder if he's actually sold out or he just... He, you can't carry more than three. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. That's interesting, though. Alright, so let us heal. And <laughs> go through... The volcano again, then switch forms. Oh, that shit went up. That shit went up, motherfucker. I wonder why that shit went up. Um, actually, let's uh, record another password real quick, because we... I mean, on terms of money and potions, we're really good. Uh, let's see, CW... I always wonder if anyone has ever cracked these codes in any password screen? Like, what corresponds to what? Probably probably not worth the effort, but I, don't know, I think it'd be interesting to see if anyone did. And then just ask them how they did it. Okay. Alright, continuing on. It's a very slow run. <laughs> I guess, again, I was joking uh, in one of my previous streams about I guess we could check here real quick. I was joking in a previous stream about... Just adding a clock... ...to my streams, to add, you know, just so when people drop in they think maybe I'm, uh, speedrunning. They just think I'm a shitty speedrunner. I do think that's weird, though. I mean, I guess, you know, I, I get it. Different strokes, different folks, whatever. You know, what I'm into is not necessarily what everyone else is into. But I, I just don't see the appeal of watching a speedrun outside of if it's a game you really, really, really enjoy and grew up with. I'm just thinking, like, what's the point, dude? Oh, this would actually be so much easier with the Dragon Mail, though, huh? Dragon Mail? Yeah, the Aqua Shield, the Dancing Shield, everything else is fine. Okay. So we can now just run right through this fucking thing, ideally. Oh, nice. Beautiful. That is a nice benefit. Just totally... the, the whole charisma system in general, it's weird, but I think it's so fucking interesting. Damn! I I yeah. <laughs> oh my god! It's enraging. These fucking frogs. I think the mouse might actually take a little bit more damage than the merman form. Which does suck. Oh, okay, yeah. Um. We did not get an extra one when we picked that shit up. So wait, why, why, why have three? Why have three there, dude? You're killing me. 
Like, like, why have, um, like, zero and three as if it can go, you know, to ten? If you actually can't have that shit go up past three, let alone nine. You know what I mean? Oh my god, though. Nice. Oh, beautiful. I like, uh, whatever the percentage of drops are for big hearts and potions, it's very, very fucking nice. That's like a weird thing to praise, but it really is, you know. Once again, I point back to Zelda 2. The percentage chance of getting fucking anything is so low. It's cancer, so it's nice having just, uh, you know, you feel like you're rewarded every now and then. Oh, come on, please. Here we are. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> oh my god! Ugh. It'd be nice if you picked up a potion when you have three potion if you just got full health, you know? Holy shit, dude. These guys are assholes. Holy shit. Fucking enraging. Alright. God damn it. Fuck over here. Oh shit, there was a uh, shift further to the right. Yeah, because that was a shop. Okay, yeah, because that was a shop. Alright. Does this shop sell anything else? No, just that. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. And this leads... No, this secures you. Okay, well, I'll still, still fucking buy it, man. Yeah, so it's like permanently increased. I wonder why. Like, I guess I you hit certain checks, right? Hit certain flags. Oh god. Please. Oh my god, that's enraging. Dude, your range is so small as the mouse. Holy shit. Yeah, you can keep that fucking money, bro. I want that money now. It's only two gold. It's not even worth it. Jesus Christ. Can I... <laughs> Ow! Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. I wasted a potion. Well, I mean, I didn't waste a potion, really. I mean, shit, I had to use it. Oh shit, am I fucked? I do that. Maybe there's a way to break through that with a thunder saber, huh? Am I actually stuck here? Uh, like, holy shit. I hope not. Um... 
Maybe there's a way I can switch back. Shit, this is a lot of work to get back here. Oh, man. I'm assuming the game devs wouldn't have this be the only uh, swap area, huh? But I, I can't fucking get through that. Damn, how many uh, more tornadoes I got? Shit. Oh, come on. Ah! Just keeping my ass in gay baby jail. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, seriously? How many? Oh my god, dude. I'm fucking dead. Burned through three right there. I don't even understand it. I think you have to hit those things in the head. I don't think it's the tornadoes that are doing it. I think I'm just like... Fucking dying. Yeah, I mean, shit. I can't believe I burned through three different potions. It felt so good to have all those fucking potions, now they're just gone. Oh, man. That enemy is brutal. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to spend more money. I feel like I can't get more than 2,000 gold, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, you know, you can get more than 2,000 gold, but I feel like I... Every time I get to 2,000, I drop back to 1,900. All right, Thunder Saber it is. Oh, I was using the Thunder Saber. Fuck me. Come on, dude. It should have been like a permanent power up. All right, all right. Fuck. Well, that sucks. So, what are we doing? Finding places I can use this Thunder Saber on, which I don't think there's anything down here. I'll double check for the 19th time, and we'll go up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like this, for example. Um, oh, fuck! Oh, that would have been nice. Alright, so that is how we can get the thing. Um, where else did I see shit? I saw shit at the end of the beach. Okay, okay. And then there's some shit up there that looks like we can break as well. Um, let us see. I guess we'll just switch back to Thunder Saber when we get to some walls. 105, that's 115. Oh yeah. Dragon Mail is better for that. Still not sure what the Goblin Mail does. I mean, I think you just get it early on, it just has high uh, defense comparatively to the Mithril Shield, Mithril Armor. Lamellar, is that what it's called? Is that an actual word? Lamellar? Shogun Lamellar. Let's go down here. Okay. Up here, we can't get up there yet. Not until we have, uh, I don't know, some sort of flying. I was reading this shit. There's apparently a Hawkman. Once again, in the instruction manual. I felt not cheating. Oh, well, look at you, you dirty bastard. Um, samurai armor? I thought I had the samurai armor. And the lucky sword. Well, I'll fucking buy both, dude. Well, it's, it's better, so I guess we'll use that for a little bit. 
Still want the aqua shield. It dr ah, it increases my charisma. And my defense. Okay, 70, 120. 82, and 132. Okay, so that's just... It's really good, apparently. Okay. Jesus. Damn, and we're only missing, what, three or four more, it looks like? I think to the left that might take me back to town, and then to the right, there might be something up there. Once again, we'll be checking out all this shit as we're flying. I won't play this game for a little bit more. This is a good game. Assuming this will be a three or four part series, if I had to, had to take a while to guess. Well, with more, uh, we might be able... No, but we don't have the money for it, even if we had it. So we're gonna have to make sure we keep grinding this gold. I'm assuming the gold drops are going to get better as we proceed. There might have been a destructible block at that area to the top right, but I mean, I guess we'll be going back there. This game does really make me want to uh, stream Shantae though as well, but I'll stream the Shantae series after I'm done playing the Wonder Boy series. There is a new Wonder Boy game. And not just the remake of this game, which I think is even newer, but there is a Wonder Boy 5. I think it's just called like Monster Boy and Wonder World or some shit, like they just switch around the title. Because once again, I, I did look it up to try to follow it. I, I'm not sure if I posted it or not, but it goes... Oh shit, I'm fighting with the uh, weakest fucking attack. God damn it. It goes Wonder Boy. Then Wonder Boy 2. Dr uh, Monster Land. So it's the second Wonder Boy game, the first Monster World game. Then it's Wonder Boy 3. Then this game... Which is also called Wonder Boy 3. Figure that one out. But it's really just Monster World 2. Even though the first game was uh, Monster World. It kind of does the Rambo rules, right? Then you have Wonder Boy and Monster World. Which is the Genesis one, which is essentially just Monster World 3. And Monster World 4 is the one with the chick. And then... Uh, Monster World 5. So it's just like, it just kind of changed. And I guess the reason why is because the original Wonder Boy 1, 2, and 3 were more arcadey. Whereas the Monster World moniker is more to show that it's m more of an RPG. Which makes the second Wonder Boy game, Wonder Boy 2 Monster Land. Which is both the second Wonder Boy game and the first Monster World game. It's like a weird RPG arcade game. Very strange. Which I guess you would consider kind of similar to that one game, Kadash, if you ever heard of that game. Okay, can you, like, stop? <laughs> can you stop, please? It looks like we actually are getting a lot more, like, a lot more uh, money. And speaking of which, I should switch it back. No, no, I am using the Lucky Sword. Good. Oh, maybe, maybe you get more gold with the Lucky Sword. Maybe that's why it's called the Lucky Sword. I could look all this shit up. Why are you doing this? Do you hurt? Yeah, you hurt. Okay. I don't know why it would hurt. Seems kind of strange. Alright, so we're probably going to go up against a pirate dragon or some stupid shit. Uh, it's probably stated in the instruction manual, but I'm not pulling up that PDF right now. Let's check out to the left first. Are you anything? No. Yeah, that lava section sucked! <laughs> Let's be real here, that was... Man, I had to sweat for that shit. See, now that bitch is charged only 60. Why? You know what it must be tied to? It must be tied... And I know this is dumb. This is gonna sound dumb. 
it must be tied to the amount, either the amount of gold you have, which I don't think it is, or the potions, right? Like 60, 80, 100, depending on if... Uh, so, some similar to that. There's probably some equivalency, depending on if you have three potions, two potions, one potion, or zero. Ah, yeah, we have a... Uh, you're gonna see a spooky boy. I <laughs> like the anchor. This is a cool fucking game. Let's, I mean, I know I've said this like 800 times. This is a very cool game. All motherfuckers should check it out. What if I go down here? Or maybe I should check out that. I, I feel like that's the dungeon, though. I feel like the dungeon's gonna be a pirate ship. Yeah, this, this is the dungeon. For now, up against Spooky Boys. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's let's see what was the other way. There's probably like another heart or something that's gonna help me out through this dungeon. Oh, I can't go back. Oh my god. Oh man. It's kind of bullshit. I mean, I guess it wasn't that hard to get here, and I mean, I'll get more gold, but I keep going the way to progress, not the way to treasure. And I want treasure, motherfucker. <laughs> Give me that treasure. Oh, God. It's got, like, stutter step through this area. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Alrighty then. Also, um, I did a lot of studying today. I think I talked about that to make up for the fact that, um, I was gonna possibly do an extra long stream. After this stream, let's see, it's 8.58, uh, which probably won't be that much longer. Maybe another 30 minutes, maybe. I'm going to do some Iron Fury. Once again, it has to be, like, during a weekend... when I have a lot of time. And it has to be at the very end of my day. Jesus, dude. Because if I get motion sickness, I'm gonna have to uh, pop some fucking pills that's gonna knock my ass out. So, yeah, it's just the reality. So I do work tonight, but like, you know, with motion sickness spells, I mean, I would have to go to sleep and wake up anyway, so it might, it might be for the best. Fuck off! Oh my god. Shit. This is like bullshit right there. Come on. You can't just put me in that situation. How many? How fucking many? Okay, thank you for the potion. I do appreciate it. For my fucking trouble. Jesus Christ! Oh my god! I mean, I guess I should be using some of my shit. Uh, what do I have? <laughs> I have four tornadoes. That's not a lot. Come on. No. He's, he's just gone. He's just not even showing up anymore. Oh my god! Holy shit! It's just like little, little annoyances. Once again, the game's not terribly difficult, but there's sure some annoying elements here and there. Oh god, just go. Oh my god. Alright, just going. I guess the plus side, if I die, I know exactly how to get through here. 
And then I can also actually try that one direction. Oh god, I looked down for a second! Dude, you're not allowed to fucking pop up when I look down. God damn. Fucking dickheads, dude. My god, at least we're getting some fucking serious gold. Oh, nice. Oh, God. Nice. Yeah, 29 is not fucking bad at all. Fortunately, these fuckers take two hits a pop. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna fucking absolutely need that potion. Oh, nice. I like to stutter right when I'm about to fucking jump right down. Thank you, game. Nice. Okay. Yeah, they're like fucking booze from Mario, dude. I'd be a little bit far away from them before they pop out. Oh my god. Is that it? Nice. And I don't... Stop it! Come on! Oh god, I like almost got it too. It's like you can kind of stun lock them if you're quick enough, but it's a little bit clunky and icy, you know? All right, so you gotta wait, actually. Come on, please! Oh my god! Oh my god. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, fuck! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's just like there's a little bit of, uh, you know, because there's all the sprites on the screen, so you get a little bit of slowdown. And then add that with a little bit of um, icy momentum that the game just has in general. And man, it's like when you fuck up, your fuck up leads to another fuck up. Damn it. Will I ever win that? I don't know. Oh well, at least next time we can uh, pick up the shit that we missed so that way we don't have to backtrack afterwards. So let's heal. I will never have over two grand in this game. I wonder how the fuck I get that. You know what I mean? If I switch to the Thunder Saber. I don't know, I can't, I, like, I, you just, yeah, you just can't. Fuck. Alright, um. Alright, now what we got? Well, we're, we're getting some serious progress, though, overall. So this is much appreciated. I'll just write down this password and we'll call it. And, um, if I had to take a wild guess, I'd say two more streams for this game. For a fucking second? Oh my god. Again, I have a little bit of trouble with this keyboard for the laptop. I picked up when I was in Japan, so it's Japanese layout, which makes it a little fucked. A little fucked. I don't know what those kooky japs are thinking, but the enter key needs to be a little bit bigger, as is the space bar. Fuck you. Um, yeah, I think that looks good. I mean, we'll be using the 
save states anyway, but it's always nice to have a little bit of redundancy just in case something colossally fucks up, you know? There we are. Save state to slot. Good. I'll do it again just because I'm paranoid. Anyway, that was Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. Um... Let's see, let me just go over here so that way we can have some peace and silence. Yeah, a seriously good game. I think it's solid. It's I think the difficulty is just right where it's difficult but forgiving. Which that's all I ask. <laughs> that's, that's all I ask in an older game, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to take a brief break and then I'm going to be streaming again in about 30 minutes preferably no later than that because i don't want to be playing the other game for too long anyway thanks again make sure if you're watching this on youtube to follow me on twitch so you can watch live and also follow the discord links are below so that way we can uh, talk shit and exchange dank memes so that we're not allowed to talk about here on twitch or youtube otherwise we'll be put in gay baby jail once again anyway thanks again and peace out